Hey you two. Uh, this is Friday, June 14, 2024, and I'm getting ready to leave for the Mohs reconstruction surgery. This video is part two of part one. I will link the others and my skin cancer playlist in the description box below. Um, I'm ready mentally. I have prepared my brain for this. <laughs> And I don't know really what to inspect, what to expect, uh, but my husband's going to memo record the doctor while I'm sleeping. And then also I asked him to record me uh, when he gets to come in when I wake up from anesthesia. Uh, I had, you know, I had some panic attacks happen before after I've woken up from surgery. I don't because you just don't know what's gonna happen, um, kind of creates some anxiety. But I'm preparing my mind to not have that happen. Yesterday, the Mohs surgeon did tell me that they did not have to go too deep, not into any muscle or down to bone or anything like that. So there's plenty of options apparently. Uh, it's just a fatty layer. I'm expecting maybe to wake up I don't know, I'll probably memo again once the doctor comes and talks to me and tells me what she thinks she's gonna do. But worst case scenarios, maybe a cut from my ear where they're gonna take some fat and um, pull the skin from my cheek to stay there for several weeks and then a second surgery. That's worst case scenario. I don't know what it's gonna entail, but um, I did want to document something that happened last night. I had several injections of lidocaine during the procedure yesterday since they had to go in three different times. And I experienced some pretty severe stomach cramping and diarrhea. So that was most of my night last night. I am fine this morning. I uh, couldn't really eat or drink anything after midnight. So, um, my stomach feels fine, uh, but I do. I did Google a side effect to lidocaine, and that's the first one on the list is uh, diarrhea and stomach cramps. So I did experience that. Hope that is something that is not in your future. If you're someone who is watching this because you're getting ready to go through this and prepare yourself, but <laughs> that was probably the most unpleasant of all of this experience so far, honestly. <sighs> but here we go. I'll keep you posted. So I have arrived. I have not gotten my IV put in yet, but I'm all hooked up to everything and waiting. So it's 2.20, nothing's been done yet. My surgery was supposed to be at 12.40, but I did receive good news just now. The doctor came in and explained um, what she will be doing, and it is basically just a bilateral flap. She'll do part the upper part with the cheek and use my nose to twist around for the other hole and no skin graphing or cartilage for my ear. <laughs> so not as evasive as I originally was anticipating. And this is good news. Although I've been sitting, I've been sitting here with this IV in my arm and it's killing me since 11 a.m and it is now almost 2.30. So, looks like they're cleaning the room from the prior patient and I should be going in shortly. And Chris will video when this is all over. <laughs> this is good news, prayers answered. I'll have quite a few stitches on my nose, but at least no skin graphing. Yay. How are you feeling? I'm just really tired and my throat is hurting. All right. Do you want a peppermint to suck on after you try the graham crackers? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Just the Sprite. The Sprite burns, but it feels okay. Yeah, I think it, I mean, obviously you had something in your throat, so that's going to aggravate it. Mm -hmm. I mean, those things will dissolve. I mean, that's why I asked for that kind. So if you want a yeah. little bit of Sprite with them, no problem. When I woke up, I forgot where I was. Uh -huh. Very normal. Drug, they give you Versa, and sometimes it just makes you feel like you've had a couple margaritas, and it's kind of an amnesic drug, so yeah. very normal what you're feeling. I'm very tired. Unfortunately, you didn't get to participate in the party, which mm -hmm. is okay, too. They showed me a mirror, 
so I didn't yeah. get to see what I looked like. Uh -huh. Just super draggy. Your vital signs and all that look amazing. Everything looks great. Okay. Oh, great. I was just getting one. Chris, any questions you have? Nope. Okay. I would just forget anyway, remember? <laughs> Do you have any questions you have? No, you can stop recording Okay, now. very good. <laughs> I'm just so tired of my life. They're rushing me out of here, but I know they've already got been here three hours longer than they want to be here. I just keep sitting down until I got a whole fly on there. Mm -hmm. And it can fall or nothing. just walked in the door. I cannot hardly keep my eyes open. I'm so tired. I'm going to go to sleep. Chris is heading to the pharmacy to go pick up my prescriptions. I'm so, so happy, praising God, that I did not have to have a skin graft. God is so good. I feel drunk. Look how good that looks. I don't know why I'm bleeding here. I don't think I'm cut there. I, I must be bleeding from the inside of my nose. Oh, this is marker. That's marker. She must have. Sorry. I'll get on later. I'm going to end my vlog so I can get this uploaded. I'm so tired and just don't want to be messing with this. I do foresee some bruising tomorrow. <laughs> Again, I'm just so happy that things worked out the way they did. God is so good. God is so good to me. Why? Why is he so good to me? I anticipated so much more. I studied Job all last week. I read Bible plans every day on Job, the book of Job. <laughs> I didn't stress. I didn't. I kept telling him I was going to give him glory through this. He, he's just so good to me. That's nothing. <laughs> That's nothing. I mean... I'll probably be all bruised up for a week or two, but I can handle that. Anyway, thank you for all the prayers. Thank you for all the support. Keep the comments coming because I love associating and interacting with you guys and knowing how your procedures are going. And, um, yeah. I'll check in again in a couple weeks, let you know how this is healing up after my follow-up i have i have a post week i have one week post-op and like a five week post-op appointment thanks for watching